Lottie, I think it's time for us to dive into our Ooh. main topic for the week, uh, which, of course, you know, the, the, the past <laughs> the past four weeks we have been doing all uh, talking about Loki, uh, Loki on Disney Plus, starring Tom Hiddleston and Owen Wilson. And uh, I can call it so- Sophie uh, D. Martino mm-hmm. and uh, Gugu and Batha Raw and uh, Wonmi Masaku. Yes. So that's and, and there's other people too, but they, you know they've they've been uh you know figuring prominently in there, and so we have come to the fifth episode of Loki, um and so uh, in honor of the fifth episode of Loki, I think I thought we'd call this episode of uh, <laughs> this episode of, of the Supercast we would call what do you call it Loki four ever, am I right Loki the number four ever. Um, Loki forever, and it, um, and this is all. This is sort of a reference to this, the, you know, the 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 post credit scene from last uh, last week where we saw the four Lokis uh, extending a hand of, I'm assuming friendship or possibly, as <laughs> possibly they were extending a hand of, uh, we'll beat your ass down to down to Loki, who is not dead. We found out was not did not in fact die uh, when he yep. was when he was hit by that little. Um, the little pruning staff, uh, but instead he, he's looking up at four versions of himself. So, um, so I don't know. What, why don't we get into the um, non-spoiler review of of episode five, um, which called um, uh, what is it? What the heck was it called? It's something mystery. <laughs> yeah. What well, what do you call it? Journey into mystery. There we go. It's called yep. Journey into mystery. Uh, so, um, I, before I run my mouth about it, uh, Lottie, why don't you tell us uh, what you thought about uh, episode Look, five of Loki? Listen, this is one of the reasons why I love this show so much. The Easter eggs that they drop in this movie, I mean, this TV show, are just amazing. And it just gets your head spinning so much of your thinking. Two of the Easter eggs I want to mention oh, first well, of all. I, I would say though, let's not if if they're spoiler, oh, if they're spoilery, oh, you know you know better. Let's just let's, let's talk about the general, well, like generally what you were thinking <laughs> about the sh- about well, the episode. The episode was good. I enjoyed the episode. Um, do I say it's better than episode four? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll give it. Yeah, to me it was better than episode four. Episode four was more, you know action pack this episode was a little bit more funny like it, it brought back the, the the humor and it was of course a lot of epic scenes in it and you know of course you know i loved his interaction with the uh, the four lokis and immediately when i saw the alligator loki immediately i was like why would they have an alligator loki then i was like what is that saying? Crocodile tears? Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe that's what they were thinking. <laughs> or, you know, it, it could just, uh, who knows? Like, that's, that's the thing. That's the thing. Oh, then, you know, I just love, you know, the whole thing, you know, him interacting with the different Lokis, you know, Sophie, you know, close, um, I mean, not Sophie, Sylvia, Sylvia f- uh, slowly figuring out, um, you know, stuff about the uh, the uh, the uh, TVA, figuring out all this stuff, and slowly her mind is figuring out what's going on. You know, it, it was, like I said, a great episode. Uh, in my opinion, I think they put, you're starting to see the budget. Did, did, did you see that too? That it looked like this episode visually looked probably the best of any episode we've seen. No, I can I can agree with that. It it they did there was definitely a lot of soundstage green screenery uh, going on. But it, the great thing about it is it wasn't. It, it's not that it wasn't obvious. I think it was obvious that they were there was green screen going on, but it was very it's almost seamless. You know, it didn't it didn't yeah. look. It didn't look fake like it can sometimes. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah. It didn't look like, like I said, I'm not saying it looked fake. I'm just saying it looked like they they stepped up the uh, the budget this episode. Like you could tell that they put a lot of money 
into this episode this ex- to make yeah. no, to it. make the place look you know like you said to put to make the place look seamless to make it seem like they're actually in a different place it was you know great episode had my mind spinning thinking of different things and like i said every episode of loki i tell I, when you guys watch loki do not text while watching the show because you will miss they this is this is one of the best shows that they throw Easter eggs in. And I'm serious. If you are texting, you will miss it. And some of these Easter eggs are some of the most answered. They answer questions or make you start thinking of questions. And I just love that about this show. Right. Just love it. So, well, yeah, I, I'll echo your your sentiments. I To be honest, uh, I still I think I liked episode four a little bit more. But only just just so the um it only the reason why I like episode four a little more is just because I think it moved the story along a little more than this episode. This this definitely is the prelude to the finale uh, that it's supposed to be. That mm-hmm. said, and I you know I've I've criticized earlier episodes for feeling like they weren't doing much. Uh, this episode didn't do a ton, but it still felt like it was doing relevant. Uh, you know, relevant storytelling uh, mm-hmm. may not, maybe not necessarily by moving the plot forward in a, in a huge leap, but definitely in, in moving the characters forward and um, explaining some things. And, and you're right. This is very, this was a, this was a payoff episode in the sense that it was paying off your patience by showing you cool stuff that made you go, Hey, Oh, Hey, hold on a second there. Well, you know, there's a there was yeah this was the Easter egg episode left and right it all it this is one where you pause and you're like hold on I need to I need to look at this scene let me just pause this and and you know pick everything out so this it was a very meticulously crafted um, a very meticulously so. crafted episode mm-hmm. um, but as much as I loved all the Easter eggs and everything I think. I've I don't think I've ever loved Loki so much as I did until this episode. And I mean I'm as much as I I said I think episode 4 is better, but I've loved this episode. I like for absolutely straight up loved it. It it made me do the things that I like to do when I watch these things. I was I was laughing out loud. I was like, "Aha!" I had to pause several times to be like, "Jen, all right, look. This is what look what they're doing." I had to do that several times, right? And yeah. I will tell you, this isn't my opinion. This is Jennifer's opinion. She said, is this show making me like Loki? And I was like, wait, you don't like Loki? She's like, I didn't really like him before now. And she's like, I think they're make, try, trying to make me love him, and I, I think it's working. <laughs> and I was <laughs> like, and I, all I want, I was just, in my mind, I was just like, I was slow clapping to Kevin Feige. I was like, you doing it, dog. You are doing that thing right now, cause yeah. you know Jennifer. She she likes all the movies. She loves a few characters, but like, if you're on her shit list, you're on her shit list. And this is turning the corner for her. And I understand in this episode, um, there are moments of, there are some serious emotional moments that come not from our Loki, but from the other Lokis. You know. Mm-hmm. There's some revelations. You're like, holy shit, right? There's some. Yeah. There's some straight up badassery in in this uh, in this episode. Oh yeah. Um, oh yeah. There's yeah, yeah. there's a, there's a payoff from a previous ep- you know a couple episodes um, as far as uh, you know character interaction between Loki and Sylvie. So there's a big payoff there. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that makes your head spin. That there you're just like, what? Uh, the, the implications are that you're just like mind blown. You're you're trying to think. You know what? There was there's a parts in this episode. I was like, man, I hope they have a what if. You know the what if animated show. I was like, I hope they have what if season two and they show what if about this because I would really like to know how this variant got here. I want to know. Like I'm so serious. I would love to see how that variant got to where they were. And yep. um and and I had to watch. We had to watch it twice. Um, cause I was like, I know I missed shit in this one. So, um, I'm rambling. The point is it was fucking awesome. I loved it. It did a lot of really good things. Did it advance the plot so much? No, but I think that's because 
this is probably going to be a pretty straightforward and or cliffhangery um, ending to this show. Uh, I'm a af- it, it has made me genuinely afraid for the way it's going in because I damn them for making me like Sylvie so much because I'm afraid she's not going to make it out of this. <laughs> she's not going to make it out of this, and I'm going to be so mad when they kill yeah. her off. So yeah. Um, but either way, uh, highly recommend it. Uh, if you're watching this show, obviously you're still watching this, but it's I think it's by far. Uh, just for me personally, the best episode that they've done. And I'm just super pumped. I am stoked. I cannot wait for this finale. Um, don't fucking screw it up, Feige. <laughs> just says nobody ever. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, I guess that's our spoiler free thoughts for Loki episode five. Um, what'd you guys think about our, uh, the episode? What'd you think about our thoughts? Uh, why don't you get down to the comments? Let us know what you're thinking. And, of course, you can always hit us up, supernotfunnyshow at gmail.com or uh, at supernotfunnys1 on Twitter, and uh, we'd love to hear from you. Mm-hmm.